Assalamu alaikum. I'm with Abdul Aziz, also known as Aziz Mian, Vice President of the Manitoba Islamic Association in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Abdul Aziz, tell us about Winnipeg, Manitoba. Uh, well, Winnipeg is, uh, you know, ge geographically, it's in the uh, basically the uh, center of uh, Canada as well as the center of North America. It's uh, uh, west of uh, Ontario um, and uh, east of uh, uh, Alberta. We are only about 100 kilometers away from uh, the American border um, uh, to the North Dakota, so we are pretty centrally uh, located. The Manitoba has a population of about uh, 1.2 mil. The city of Winnipeg is about uh, 742,000, a very diverse uh, community, very diverse population. Um, I've been in Winnipeg for 30 years, um, and I love it here. Um, as a professional, I had opportunity to go to many different uh, cities when I was younger, but I wanted to be in Winnipeg um, because I like Winnipeg. Uh, to me, it's one of the best places to raise a family. Um, I think Winnipeg is our, uh, if you look at our, our slogan, it's a friendly Manitoba, and I think Winnipeg is are very friendly and they are kind of very humble people. So if you ask some typical question about what is there to do in Winnipeg, they'll say, well, not much. Well, I, uh, I beg to differ. Um, Winnipeg has a lot to offer. Uh, there's a lot of different activities uh, uh, in the city that you, you can uh, be involved in. Winnipeg is probably one of those unique cities where we have uh, three huge parks within the city limits. So, uh, you know, just you can talk about one of the park. One of the park uh, has a three uh, cricket fields. It has a, a soccer field. It has a zoo, it has a conservatory, it has an English garden, uh, it has a sculpture um, park, uh, and it's huge. Um, and there are three of them. There are many other things uh, in the city. We have um, one of the very upscale and uh, fancy hotel in the middle of downtown, and on the 26th floor, we have a revolving restaurant. So if you go to that restaurant, you can have a 360 degree view of the, uh, view of the uh, city of Winnipeg. Um, Winnipeg is very diverse. Uh, you basically, you will see a lot of people from different ethnic backgrounds. Uh, in summer, we have what we call uh, uh, a folk festival. There are different, uh, about 40 different pavilion. It runs for about two weeks. Um, and uh, different ethnic group have their pavilion where they're showing their culture, their heritage, uh, their ethnic food. A lot of people um, all over Canada like to like to come. And uh, if you are a sports lover, of course, we got the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. We got the Winnipeg Jets, uh, those who love baseball. Even though we don't have a major league, we have a triple A league. It's called the uh, Gold Eye, and uh, they're usually uh, uh, pretty good. They usually are in. Uh, if you enjoy uh, seeing them, they usually win quite a few games. So, um, so there, there, there are many different activities. Uh, summertime, we also can go to uh, Forks. Forks is uh, one of the old uh, uh, a station which has been converted part of it. Um, this is where the two uh, rivers meet. It's a beautiful place, uh, outdoor, uh, indoor, where you can go out and enjoy. In the winter time, we also have a skating rink. Uh, plus, at the river, people can actually skate. There's a huge long uh, uh, river walk. Uh, if, you, if you enjoy enjoy walking, um, Winnipeg has probably one of the uh, uh, um, largest number of golf courses. If, you, if you're if you're a golf lover, I'm not that good at it. I, I play golf like I, I play cricket, but nevertheless, uh, once in a while, I enjoy going out and uh, uh, with my friends, and uh, it's uh, definitely great. Um, what else? We have a Red River uh, exhibition and uh, once a year in the uh, summertime and we have all sorts of different rides. It runs for about two weeks. Very popular, it's been going on for, for, for many years. Um, Student of Architect, we have uh, in downtown area called the Old Market Square. Um, very old buildings, very unique, uh, amazing uh, to watch and, and take pictures. We have an awful lot of actually movies that actually uh, are, are sh shot in that, uh, that neighborhood. Uh, summertime is usually uh, streets are blocked uh, quite regularly to accommodate the movie requests. A lot of famous movies uh, and, and the stars have come in here. 
uh, we have the, uh, the um, a lot of the skateboard parks for the youth who love to love to skateboard. Uh, we got Winnipeg Valley, we got Sky Zone, we got uh, uh, my two favorite places are um, uh, close to the um, uh, to the two lakes. We have Lake Winnipeg, Lake Manitoba. Uh, you know, a lot of picnic spots to go to. Um, so there's, uh, you know, there's a uh, the list is uh, we got. Uh, Winnipeg Ballet. So the, the list is actually very long. I, I can sit here and talk for hours what Winnipeg has to offer, and there's a lot to offer. Probably winter time, there's obviously less activities to offer, but nevertheless, winter, winter time, there's a lot of activities, you know, from the uh, tobogganing to, to uh, downhill skiing to a lot of places where you can do cross country skis. Uh, and, you know, being involved in the masjid too, it uh, provides you with a different opportunity to to do a lot of activities within the indoor indoor as well. So, um, like I said, I, I think I can probably go on and on and provide you a, a slew of things that can be done in here, but uh, there, is, there is no end to it. Wow, I had no idea there was so much to do in Winnipeg. Thank you for sharing that. Tell me about the Muslim community in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Well, I guess um, um, I can tell you from the time I came to the community in the early uh, 80s, that's about uh, 30 years ago, uh, the community has grown since, uh, since, since the early 80s. But prior to the early 80s, my understanding is the Muslims have been in this province, in this city, for over 100 years. Maybe not in large numbers, in few numbers. Prior to the um, uh, 70s, mid-70s, uh, I know for a fact the, the, um, uh, the people used to to go to different places um, to rent a place to uh, to pray Juma. Uh, that was made mostly uh, places were being booked for Juma. Uh, quite a few people, but uh, in the early 60s, that's when the maybe there were about uh, maximum maybe 30, 40 families maybe joined and started to uh, uh, develop uh, a committee where they were trying to acquire a place place of worship just like any other, I guess, other cities, new community wants to have a place of worship. Um, they formed uh, an association, which is the, the MIA, stands for Manitoba Islamic Association. In the mid-60s, mid, mid uh, they, they developed a constitution, and uh, in mid-70s, uh, they basically built the first masjid. So there were very few families uh, that actually were able to build a masjid. Uh, and if you start to try to think uh, in comparison today, you know, where you'd be building uh, uh, um, uh, millions of dollars worth of uh, uh, a building with, with uh, maybe a few thousand people. So it was definitely difficult. Uh, but the beauty of that masjid um, was uh, the, the diversity that I saw when I came. Uh, basically, you saw everybody at the masjid. Uh, it was not only a place to place of worship, uh, we held many events, whether it was the, the gathering or the, uh, uh, you know, any, any uh, other occasions. So we had a basement and a lot of activi activities and the classes for the kids were taking place in the basement. Um, so that was the, that was the, the main, uh, uh, I guess, uh, building block at, at the time. As the community start to grow, uh, obviously the, the need of the community community grows and then we were able to acquire uh, a land um, which is uh, where we have our current civic center, uh, Winnipeg, uh, our, our Grand Mosque. And that's a 12 acre site uh, and back then people were wondering why this land was being purchased which was kind of a no man's land and now it's in one of the most expensive area, area of the city. So you know from accommodating a few hundred people from the old mosque we can pretty much accommodate about 2,000 people. Uh, sometime maybe if we fill it to, to, to every corner, probably can accommodate 3,000 people. So the community has uh, uh, grown a lot, and it's a very diverse community. Uh, and uh, without the help and contributions of our predecessors, of course, uh, th this was not, not possible. Tell me more about the community and who belongs to the community and what they do here. You know, there is a... Obviously, like any other, I guess, uh, city, uh, there are a lot of uh, professionals. Um, a lot of, there are a lot of doctors, there are a lot of engineers. Um, uh, you know, in the past, there were less Muslims 
being involved in the businesses, whereas now you see a lot more. So I would say they're becoming more mainstream. They're much more part of the society, whereas in the past you would just see, uh, you know, mostly mostly doctors uh, who are coming here and settling or coming here for, for the education. So I can't think of any profession that where the Muslims are not there, whether you talk about in the, being the civil servant, whether you talk about the private sector, whether you talk about law enforcement, whether you talk about the restaurant business, whether you talk about the chiropractors, whether you talk about, uh, you name it. So um, in the past, you know, quite often you'll say, well, you know, we have this need, and are there any Muslim in that business? And you say, well, really there aren't any. Whereas now, it, uh, it is uh, basically, um, there are Muslims pretty much in, uh, in uh, every, every business and every profession where they are much more like, uh, I guess, a, a part of the larger society, where in the past that was not seen as the case, but now they're basic uh, fabric of, of the society, contributing member, just happen to have a different faith. Uh, you know, color, whether you talk about nationality, there are people here, you know, from, uh, uh, from Philippines, from China, from uh, you name it, and they're Muslim. So we have every nationality in this masjid that comes to this masjid, you know, whether you are the youth, whether you are the, uh, the elders, or whether you are the, the, with the, with the Jumaat, or it doesn't matter. Everybody comes to the same place of worship, and it is one of the most beautiful things. Because I have, uh, for example, gone for Tarawi in other cities. One of the most beautiful things in Winnipeg after Tarawi is late yet people will be here for another hour, hour and a half, mingling with each other and maybe going home late. And this is typical of Winnipeg. That's really nice to hear that you guys are so tightly knit. Um, tell me more about this center and some of the features that it has. This uh, center uh, is about 20,000 square feet. Um, and it was designed um, to keep three things in mind. Uh, unfortunately, at the time, we did not build a basement, which is typical of most centers. Um, when this place was being developed, there was no resident in this neighborhood. Um, and because we had 13 acres at the time, it was felt, since we have a lot of land, we don't need a basement. But this center has really uh, a three-part. So the prayer hall, of course, is the, the uh, uh, main area. But right behind the prayer hall, we have a huge gym. So at Juma time, actually, the gym opens up and it becomes part of the prayer hall. And uh, that can accommodate, uh, including the, the masjid, it can accommodate about 2,000 people, combining the, the both, both places. And the gym was, and between the gym and the prayer hall, we also have uh, partitioned uh, areas, which are actually next to the prayer hall, and people pray most often, but they can also be used as a classroom with the dividers. So it was uh, in mind that we can hold the classrooms. And at the back, on, back end, of course, we have the uh, office space. We have a, a beautiful library. Um, and uh, if you need any book, it's there. We also have a, um, a kitchen. And it's not just uh, your regular kitchen. It's, pretty, it's a commercial kitchen. And uh, when we are holding event, of course, we can, uh, we can utilize that. We can cook. Uh, it has with the air makeup unit, so it was uh, very, very nicely done. So those are the main um, uh, parts uh, of, of the of the center, and in the back, of course, we have our, uh, you know, the the, uh, the acreage uh, uh, to help us out. Last uh, Eid, we had held the Eid festival, and it's so large. Uh, at the end of the Eid festival, we also had uh, fireworks. Uh, and which could be seen by many neighbors and we invite neighbors to come and uh, at least uh, uh, four or five thousand people throughout that day actually come to the Eid event or, or what we call the Eid festival. Uh, there was about uh, uh, almost uh, eight, nine hundred uh, cars that we accommodate on our site plus we accommodate all these people. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a quite a beautiful place. It's very close to one of the main uh, uh, university, which is called the University of Manitoba, uh, it's about a five-minute drive from uh, from our center. Uh, really, really good location, and uh, people were saying when we were building, 
We're building this huge, huge center, nobody will come. And actually, Juma time is full. Finally, do you have a message for Canadians or Muslims that may be watching this video? Well, um, I think the message is maybe perhaps for those who might think uh, we have to be uh, a Muslim or Canadian. Um, this is a very diverse uh, society, very diverse community. Uh, I think of myself as, as Canadian. I am Muslim, but I'm a Canadian Muslim. Uh, and in order to, to, to help your country, help your city, and help your community, you have to be part of a larger community. Um, and messages to, you know, and this is no different from our dean, you know, to, to help uh, support, your, support your neighbors uh, and do the good work. So it, it has to be inclusive. Uh, think yourself as Canadian. Yes, we are Muslim, but anything you can do for your, for, for your city, for your society, for your province, for your country, I think that has to be as a part of your, your uh, thinking, part of your daily routine, part of what you do every day. Because we are Canadian, yet we are Muslim. Brother Abdul Aziz, thank you very much for your time. Assalamu alaikum.